Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! Okay, so today we're going to be customizing a Blythal. B-L-Y-T-H-E, Blythal. If you don't know what a Blythal is, this is a Blythal. Oh, she's so cute. It's a really popular doll brand in Japan. It costs around $200 to $500. I know, it could be quite expensive. I love customizing Blythals, but I can't do this too often. I mean, obviously one, because of the price, and two, because I can't have a hundred of these at home. While they're really cute, it's gonna be a little bit creepy, to be honest. Like a hundred dolls? looking at me so yeah this is like a once in a few months thing and i'm just so excited and today i'm going to customize her into a pokemon trainer if you guys know the new pokemon game is out and i have to say i'm obsessed i've been literally playing like 10 hours per day anyways let's just jump right in customizing a blight doll into a pokemon trainer let's get started a portion of this video is sponsored by boxu so please stay tuned I'm so excited. Okay, so first off, before anything, let's take her apart. Don't worry, honey, I'm not gonna hurt you. So it's really easy. Oh wait, this doesn't fit. So we're gonna take out three screws in the back. One, two, and three. Uh-huh, here's the head and the face. We're gonna take another screw inside and with a little bit of force, you can take all the eye parts out. Like this. And you need to keep all these small parts. I guess I'll put it inside Totoro just to be like extra safe. There. So where to start from? I think I'm going to start with her face. I'm going to go outside and spray a matte top coat on top. So while we're waiting for the face to dry, let's move on to the eyes. So here's some hot water and I'm just going to soak it in for a few minutes. This is actually my least favorite part in the whole video. I kind of still struggle with this sometime. Let me scoop one up with scissors. And which eye should I take out? I mean, this one's really pretty, so I'm definitely going to keep this one. I'm going to say the orange. Let's go with orange. I'm going to stick it on. I'm going to use some double-sided tape and pull. <gasps> it came out! First try! So today's a nice day. Sometimes it takes me like 20 times to do this part and nice and clean. I'm also gonna keep this part in Totoro. And pull. Nice. It's so satisfying. Next up, here's a mold for the eyes. Let's see which one fits. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's these two down here. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show it to you guys. So this is my Pokemon trainer. For this Pokemon game, you got to choose the details. And I decided to give her purple hair and purple eyes. So purple it is. Don't forget to put gloves on when working with resin. Resin can be really toxic if you don't use it the right way. Just saying. So I'm going to add a little bit of resin. That should do. And I'm going to add a little bit of purple. And mix. A heat gun to pop all the bubbles. And cure. It's going to take around 30 to 90 seconds to completely harden. Okay, and let me check if it fits. Perfect. Now that I know it fits, I'm going to make it for real now. And cure. And with the black multi-liner, I'm going to draw in these lines. So something like this. I think this adds like that anime touch. And again on this side. Let it dry for a bit. I'm going to add a clear resin on top. And again, here. And this is how it turned out. Let me check. Hmm, <gasps> I don't know guys. It looks a little bit too dark for me. Oh, I'm so sad. It turned out really nice too. But you know what guys? I think I'm gonna remake it. I'm going to redo it until I'm satisfied with the result. Even if it takes me like a hundred times. That's the beauty of crafting. One hour later. 
and this is how they turned out. I see like no bubbles. It's very transparent and very clean. And if you put it in, it looks something like this. I think these might be like one of the best eyes I've ever made. So eyes, check. Okay, next up, the face. As you can see, it's totally matte now, and it's completely dry. Let me check my girl. So again, as always, I'm gonna build on top of this. I say this all the time, but I don't want to make like any permanent changes. If you guys don't know, each Blythe doll has a name, a background, and they're all special in their own way, and that's what makes them unique. I just don't want to take her identity away. But again, that's just me. You guys do you. Ta-da! Prismacolors! Ooh. I'm going to use these to draw in her face. I'm going to need this. Hmm. So my girl, she's pretty natural. She doesn't have a lot of makeup on, but she has like really rosy cheeks, which is so adorable, but I want to calm it down by like a bit. How to do that? I'm going to try to make her skin color and make it like a foundation. Let's see how it works. A little bit of white, and a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and a tiny bit of that. Mix, mix, mix. Hmm, I think it's kind of working. And now I'm just gonna use my fingers and rub it in. Oh, it's working. I don't know if you can tell. And by the way, I'm not trying to completely erase it. I just wanna make it a little bit more subtle. And I think this is perfect. And just like all over her face. Wow, this is acting like a real foundation. And I don't know if you can tell it through the camera, but it looks so smooth and soft. Now that the base is done, let's move on to the details. I'm going to draw in the eyeliner, and I'm going to add three eyelashes on top. I'm going to erase it a tiny bit. <laughs> oh my gosh, it broke! Oh wait, I could just put it back. And I'm just going to lightly color it in. But I want to use this colored pencil to the core. So lastly, um, I think I'm going to change the color of her lips. And for that, I'm just going to use Posca paint pen. I'm just going to mix these two colors together. I think it's perfect. So I just want to make her lips look really nude. I think this lip color is so pretty. I kind of want it for myself. Aw, she looks so cute. I know that was quick, but her face, check. Next up, clothes. So I got all of these clothes at different stores. So her clothes gonna look something like this. She has black socks on, blue pants, a shirt with a tie, and a hat. I think these are really close, but I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. For example, I actually asked for blue shorts, but I got a white. So that is why I got a blue dye. I'm just gonna dye these blue. I got two just in case, and let's see which one I should choose. So it's supposed to look something like this. This one looks more realistic, but this one has pockets. Hmm. Okay, let's go with this one. These pants are just like better quality. So how to use this? I've never used this before. There's actually a lot of steps, but I'm gonna wing it. So here's some hot water, just like it says, and I'm going to add a tiny bit. The thing is, this has directions for human clothes and not for dolls. So I guess I have to try and see. Let me check the color. So now I'm just gonna dip it in. Here we go. It's so hot. Ooh, oh, that's actually a really nice color. And it's gonna turn so blue after this. Looking great. And I'm just gonna rinse it off. BRB. One hour later. Okay, good news. It kind of worked. I wanted to make it a little bit darker, but I think it still looks okay. The bad news is my hands. It turned all blue. I just washed my hands for the past 30 minutes. I used soap. It didn't work. I used detergent, it didn't work. I used cleanser, it did not work. It only worked when I soaked my hands in hot water for 10 minutes and scrubbed it off. This is the best I could get. Now I know from next time, I'm going to use gloves when I use fabric dye. Sometimes I really don't care about my hands when I'm making art. I think it's an artist struggle. But yeah, guys, don't copy me. Do what I say and not what I do. Anyway, so we got her shorts. This is going to be her hat, but I'm just gonna take off her red ribbon. It says Bon Voyage, which I think is perfect for the character. Pokemon trainers travel everywhere. And next up, her tie. So I'm going to use two strips of ribbon. I'm going to use the longer one. Make it cross like so. I'm going to put the other ribbon on top. And fold it in like so. Hmm. And there we have a tie. It's a little bit long, so I'm going to snip it off. 
And here we have a little tie for dolls. It's super easy and it looks so realistic. So tie check. Next, for the socks, it's going to be really easy. She's wearing black socks with a yellow line right here. So I'm just going to add it using some fabric paint. And that's it. What else do I need? Hmm, I'm actually not really sure. So let's put her all together. We've got a lot of pieces now. Okay guys, I know this is completely random, but I just went to the Pokemon Center to hype myself up and I got these little boxes that I want to unbox with you guys. It's so cute! And here I've got three cute Pokemon boxes called Aqua Bottle. So this is the box and here's some of the things that's inside. <gasps> Minokaros! My favorite. I want number five, but let's see which one I'm gonna get. Okay, the reveal. And here we've got... Ta-da! <gasps> Pikachu! Oh, it doesn't give you directions. Hmm. So Pikachu is supposed to be inside here. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. And this goes right here. Don't roll away, Pikachu! And there it is, Pikachu inside a bottle. It's so cute, but it's kind of fragile. This part kind of broke and she's dangling now. But other than that, it's so cute. Okay, let's try opening the other ones. Second box, the reveal. Three, two, one. Oh wait, oh, okay. It's middle cuddles. It's like one of my favorite Pokemon. How would you, oh, it opens in the back. So um, this goes right here. I'm going to be really gentle with this one. Goes in right here, close it in the back. And there we have it. Oh look, there's a Pokemon ball in the center. And it's literally just so pretty. Whoever came up with this design needs a raise. And lastly, we've got one more box. Hopefully I didn't get like the same one. And we've got... Oh, guys, it's a different shape. Ah, it's Chonchi and Omunaito. I'm sorry, I don't know their English names. I only play Pokemon in Japanese. It's gonna go right here. Ooh, it's so detailed. And we're gonna close it up. And there we have it. I have to say, this is unique. I love the design. I love the Pokemons. I need more of these. And guys, these are what I got. I'm just so happy I got the ones that I really wanted. And all the quality is just so amazing. Yay! Okay, I know this was random, but I wanted a little bit of rest. And let's go back to the Blythe doll. So here's all the parts so far. Okay, not bad. For the tie, I'm just gonna wrap it around like so and glue it on the back. Okay, this is a little bit too long, so I'm gonna cut it shorter. And then her eyes. So this is gonna go in right here. So I accidentally rubbed off the face. So I'm going to retouch a few places. I mean, it's not that bad. Just a little bit of touch up here and there. I'm going to adjust her eyes, her socks. Oh my gosh, I remember I used to have socks that were like way too tight and it would take me like 10 minutes to put on when I was like six years old. And I thought socks were supposed to be like that. So I didn't know until I was like older. I don't know, it just like randomly came into my mind. So here we got some socks on. Since her shorts were a little bit too short, I decided to unbutton it and kind of like pull it down. So yeah, her booty's kind of showing, but I think it looks a lot better. And her shoes. I got her some sneakers. This. Her backpack. I love how it's starting to look. And lastly, her hair. And today I'm going to be using this wig. I love this lavender. I wanna make my hair like this color. Let me comb it a little bit. I did get the right size, but I think it was a little bit too tight. Her wig is a little bit small, but I think we can work with it. Okay, so far so good. I think she's looking really gorgeous, but the thing is, her hair is a lot shorter. This is how her hair looks like. So I guess I need to give her a haircut. I just couldn't find the right length with this color. I'm gonna get her side bangs. I think this is like so important for her. I'm gonna grab a bit. Could you hold it for me? Thank you. I'm actually a little bit nervous. If I mess this up, the whole video is gonna get ruined. I guess here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Okay. Ooh. I feel like I can make something with this. I always do that. I keep on thinking that I can make something with it, so I never throw things away. Again, onto this side. Okay, it's still a little bit long, but you know, I don't want to go too short. I'd rather make it a little bit too long than a little bit too short. 
And now onto her back. Wow, you have gorgeous hair. Like here. ASMR. No need to hurry. And I gotta be careful not to cut any other parts. So let me cut off any excess. I just hope like Brad Mondo doesn't see this. And because you can't really see her face, I'm going to cut her bangs a bit too. Just a little bit. I'm a master of straight bangs. Don't worry. So how I cut my bangs, I basically go straight across. Like so. And after it's all straight and stuff, I go in and cut it like vertically, like so. And that's how you make straight bangs. Next up, I'm going to curl her hair using a straightener. I'm going to test it on this piece of hair. And... I think it works. Sometimes it just melts, so be careful, guys. So I'm going to get a little bit of her hair and make it go inwards. And I'm just going to go all the way around. Since I think it's so important for the side bangs to be separate from her hair, I'm going to make her hold it a little bit like so. I'm just going to pull it away and then add the hat on top. Wow, there's like hair everywhere. <gasps> okay. Since the hat keeps sliding down, I'm going to use a little bit of double-sided tape to tape it down. So the doll is basically done, but I want to go a little bit beyond and make a display. Just saying it's not going to be that complicated. It's going to be quite simple. But first off, I'm going to make this shelf. How does it work? So this goes right here and this goes right here. And here it is. So I went out and got a sheet of grass. A lot of fairy dust. So I'm just gonna cut it so it fits on the bottom. I'm just gonna use some glue and glue it down. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. And next I've got this fabric and I'm going to cut out a small piece. I'm just gonna fold it and just like put it in like so. And that's basically honestly it. Like I said, I wanted to make a really simple background. I also got like a bench and stuff, but it didn't come in time. So I'll add that later. But for now, I'm going to put her right here. So it looks like she's doing like a picnic. And here I've got a lot of cute little Pokemons. And I'm just gonna like put them all around like so. She needs to be the closest. And here's all these like cute little characters. And guys, I think I'm done for today. And this is how it turned out. Like I said before, I bought this bench, but it didn't come in time. So this isn't like nowhere to final final yet. I do want to like add like a background right here. I'm still thinking about changing it, but I've been working on this for far too long. I think I'm done for today. I mean, it does look a little bit blank with like no background, but other than that, I think it turned out really, really cute. Oh wait, she needs to be on her lap. So what do you guys think? I highly recommend checking out Pokemon if you haven't yet. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!